So in this video we're going to look at some simple things you can do to get your dog's nose working. So this first setup is a nice simple one for Ernie as he can still be a little bit worried about moving novel objects. I've included the snuffle mat which is what he's sniffing at now and this is a familiar item to him and it's a nice and gentle one to get him started. Sniffing's a great mental workout, so it's quite tiring. It can be really helpful for reducing stress and frustration, so it's a great exercise for all sorts of situations. And the benefit, above all, is that dogs know how to do it already, so there's no training required. So the wind blows and moves the box, which startles him, but he does carry on, so I'm going to leave him to it. He's looking at the boxes, but he isn't ready to explore them fully yet. It's important to let him suss it out in its own time, and not force him. There are treats under the pots there, and in the tubes that are inside the plant pot nearest to us. That's a nice starter exercise for building confidence in moving Ooh. objects around for himself. And you can really see how much sniffing he's doing here. The cardboard boxes are a fairly nice size for him and they've got crumpled up paper in them. So some treats are on top of the paper and some are underneath, so he's got some easy and some more challenging ones. He was more reluctant with this box because there's no lowered side, so I help him out by holding the box so he feels able to snuffle inside and find all his treats. So I'm modifying this for Max's course as he's much more confident as you'll see. So the tubes are inside the plant pot again, but they're also inside another box, which goes inside another box. So here's Max sniffing out the treats in the box that we just looked at. You can see straight away how much more confident Max is interacting with these objects and moving them around by himself. He's been problem solving for a long time, so he has no fears about what he's doing. So if you have a more confident dog, you can adjust the tasks that you give them accordingly. Sometimes the simple ones are the best. If you aren't a keen gardener, you might have nature's own snuffle mat in your garden waiting for you like I do. You can even just throw a handful of their morning kibble in the grass, or just on slabs if that's all you have, and your dog can sniff out his breakfast. This huge box of packaging paper reflects just how much more confident Max is with moving things. We don't do things like this often, but he relishes the challenge. I hope that with lots of small sessions, gradually increasing the size and the types of objects that Ernie plays with, that one day he might feel able to manage something like this. That's where the gradual confidence building comes in. This next box came with glass bottles in, so it's got lots of deep compartments, some of which now have treats in the bottom. So rifle through your recycling bin really and see what snuffling challenges you can come up with for your dog. Remember to keep it at their level and gradually present them with more challenges until they can do it all. Now for the ball pit challenge. Start out with an empty container and make sure your dog's happy stepping in and out of that for treats first. If they aren't, save this challenge for later when your dog's feeling more confident. Then add just a few ball pit balls to again make sure they're happy with the idea. Only work with more than one dog at a time if you know that they aren't going to fall out. Gradually add more and more balls the more time you do it so your dog ends up really having to snuffle. Then add a good sprinkling of treats, with more on hand to top up if needed, and let the snuffling commence. A variation here is setting up treats underneath the balls resting in this apple tray, so you could use something like a muffin tray for this as well. So this is great self-control for Max, there is no way he would have been able to sit patiently like this when he was younger. I finish popping those balls in, then reward that amazing patience by giving him his release cue and then let him snuffle away for those treats. Thanks for watching. My name's Naomi Andrews, I'm a clinical animal behaviourist and if you'd like to see more training and behaviour videos, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell for new notifications.